Have you ever hooked up with anyone on Queer as Folk? <sighs> oh my God, you gagged a little bit. <laughs> no, I, um, I don't, no, I don't think I. Here. The rules of the game are, you either sip or you spill. So I'm gonna ask you some spicy questions and you can choose to take a sip and not answer the question at all, or you can spill and be brave and let it all, <laughs> let it all hang out. And if you spill more than you sip, you can turn it round back on me and you can ask me whatever you want. And I might sip, I might spill, we'll find out. Ready? You are a messy girl. <laughs> As someone who was actually at Venice Film Festival, can you share what the energy was actually like surrounding the Don't Worry Darling drama? Oh God. Sip or spill? Honey, I'll spill, honey, I don't care. <laughs> that was some bull Yeah? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, Listen, there was an opportunity for the publication to write about some history being made, right? This was a hard fought win for trans folks. And then the headlines kept pumping out all this spitgate drama between these cis folk. Girl, beat it. <laughs> Come on now. That was some bull. What if Harry spit on you? What would you do? Oh, that's kind of hot. <laughs> but wait, but he's taken though. Well, they that might doesn't be, matter. They might be into that. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be my first couple. You heard, oh! <laughs> Sipper spill. Something I love about you is that you're bold and honest on your social media, calling the powers that be out on their nonsense. Now that the cameras are rolling, is there anyone you want to call out? Sipper spill. <laughs> who do I want to call out? There's a list. <laughs> Not a list. Um, <laughs> these hoes know who the they are. Oh. I'm going to keep it cute though and sip. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, I know how thirsty Trace's set stands are, so I have to ask you, Sipper Spill, have you ever a fan? I have. <laughs> I have, I like it because they're very um, gracious <laughs> and generous. I feel very special. Yeah, has it ever been like, has, has anyone ever done it and then <clears throat> afterward will like tell you like, oh, I know who you are? Um, yes, that's happened too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sip or spill, who was the last celebrity in your DMs? Oh my God. Now see, this is complicated because, okay, so this is gonna get a little serious. Mm -hmm. I can't say that because of the stigma attached to dating trans women. Mm. That might be the next headline in the shade room. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, oh. it's tricky territory because it can lead to so much violence, all the things, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, that, I, I really, I hope we see that change in my lifetime. I do. Yeah, because some household names been up in the DMs. And I know that's par for the course for me and my girls in the industry, even the ones that, you know, are not in the entertainment industry. There's a lot of high profile men that are at the girls. And yeah, they like don't, not just <clears> you, but. they want to lay down with us, but they don't want to say <laughs> when we're murdered in the street. And that sends me. We'll sip on that. Yeah, we'll sip. <laughs> All right, I gotta be honest. Every time someone learns that you are my bestie, I can tell they want to date with you. So sip or spill. What? What does it take to get a date with Trace Lissette? First of all, you need to be telling me about these <laughs> dates. Because I don't remember this. I mean, you don't tell me about everyone that slides into your DMs about me. Well, okay, what do you have to do to score a date with me? Um, uh, uh, listen, I don't, I, I just ask me. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I might have, a, a, you know, some criteria. Yeah. What if someone was like, oh, can we meet at Starbucks for our date? Perfect. Really? Low risk. Starbucks? Low risk. I don't have to invest a lot, neither does he. Oh, you're I like, like, let's just have a coffee and listen, see. Listen, we can start with a FaceTime. Okay. If the vibe is right, we can go to Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> a 
and then maybe you know yeah the restaurant and maybe and a then movie. you know if I like you oh you can pull out that wallet and we can go to the doop to do <laughs> that's so sweet of you though to be like you can save your coin for now yeah no it's not a four hundred dollar audition <laughs> no we could just do it over a latte girl okay I love that. You spilled more than enough. So is there anything you want to turn back on me and ask me to sip or spill on? Well, I heard that the internet would like to know what happened with you and Colton in Mexico. You got <laughs> bars, ow. <laughs> me and Colton Underwood are good friends. Uh -huh. And we've developed a friendship over the last year and a half and nothing crazy happened in Mexico, unless you read the uh, gossip. Yeah, we're very good friends, and I'm very good friends with his fiance, Jordan, and I love them both. Have you ever hooked up with anyone on Queer Spoke? <sighs> oh my God, you gagged a little bit. <laughs> no, I, um, I don't, no, I don't think I. Here. <laughs> I have not hooked up with anyone on Queer Spoke. Mm. With that being said. Okay, we out. Let's get the hell out of here. All right. Mm -mm. On my back. We need a designated driver. <laughs> <laughs>